Hello, Nikolai from EvoSep. Last week, Jesper was able to finalize the prototype uh, PCBs for the pump. And we've installed this, these in our first lab prototype. And this is really great because it has now enabled us to continue our work on the business logic and also uh, start to optimize our flow control algorithm. So to tell you a little bit more about our focus and also what we are currently doing, I've invited my colleague Ulle Hörning to tell you a little bit more about um, the work that he is getting. Yeah, so first of all, we've spent some time optimizing the flow control algorithm, and now we have some really nice profiles coming out of the pumps. That means the gradient accuracy is improving much. Secondly, we have implemented the uh, complete method into our business logic, so we can run samples in turn. And the very initial uh, LCMS performance actually looks really nice in terms of peak shapes and also the carryover looks really nice. Interestingly, it looks like the hydrophobic peptide intensity is slightly better than what we would usually see on a standard nanoflow LC system. We still have some issues on a firmware bug, unfortunately, that causes the uh, micro of the PCB to reset from time to time and that makes it really hard to run large batches of samples. Okay, thank you very much Ole. So obviously it's super important that we uh, find, identify and solve this uh, firmware bug because we, next week we want to start our initial uh, beta testing at the uh, Max Planck Institute in Martinsville. Obviously this is not going to happen unless we have the performance required to run uh, hundreds of samples at a time. So fingers crossed and hopefully uh, we'll have an update for you next week from Martin Street. So stay tuned, have a great week and see you then.